Hey, Karen Roby and Matt Miller here for ZDNet talking today about the Galaxy Tab Active 3. Matt, you do a lot of these reviews for us here and sounds like off the top, uh, a great option for some, you know, those that are out in the field, some frontline workers. It seems like you've been really impressed with this. Yeah, it is. a, It's a it's a wonderful option for field workers. And the funny thing is, um, 2018, they had the Active 2 and I actually purchased um, one of these for my team down in Florida, who's in the shipyard checking out drawings and things. So this is the the Tab Active Three, the successor to it. Okay. And as you can see, it's an eight inch tablet. Um, it comes with this with this case. It's a rugged case that also has a slot for the S Pen in it. And it's it's I'm holding it in one hand. It's great for field workers to hold in one hand, make some notes on it. You know, my team down there takes drawings out in the field of the ship. And then they mark up the drawings or they use the camera on the back. They take pictures of things that are going on. And, you know, you can hold it in one hand. You could put it in a big jacket pocket or, or something or carry it with you. So it's very handy for field work. It does have on the side, there's some pogo pins there. So it has a bunch of different enterprise accessories that you can slap on there. You know, the functionality in the camera now supports um, QR code scanning and other ways to do mobile point of sale and things like that. Um, but it is kind of a throwback tablet, right? This is a, as you can see, the bezels are pretty large on the top and bottom. You know, it's not going to win any design contest for, you know, modern luxury or anything, but it's a workhorse, right? And then the bottom of it, there are three physical buttons, you know, the home, back, and, and the multitask switcher. So even if you have gloves on your fingers or you've got dirt on your fingers, whatever, you can push the physical buttons and use the device. And then along the side, there's the volume buttons, there's also a power button that can be programmed. And then there's a third button there that's a key that you can program for a push and a hold or a double push and things like that. So you can access and use this device even if the screen you know, may be wet or something like that. Um, kind of speaking of that, it is you know, IP68 uh, dust and water resistant. It also has uh, pass the mill stand 810H uh, drop testing. So it's, it's a rugged tablet, right? Um, another nice thing that's that's good for the field worker is this thing can be you can use it all day long because the back panel comes off and the batteries are removable. So that's something we don't see nowadays very often is removable batteries, especially, you know, of course, people are going to say the iPad's the best tablet. And for the office work, it probably is the best tablet. But out in the field, even if you slap a, a rugged case on an iPad, you're still limited with it, right? This is really just a field worker's tablet. And the great thing is, you know, it, it's an enterprise tablet and it's priced less than 500 bucks. Right? There's also an LTE option as well if you want to have uh, cellular data connectivity out in the field. So. And you're in, you know, the, the talk about firsthand experience, like you mentioned that your team that uh, that you work with, I mean, they, they definitely are not uh, gentle always with stuff because it's like <laughs> the work they do right and things get wet or they're dropping them or trying to put them in their pocket quickly and move to the next location so you know definitely putting it to the test and, and to get the seal of approval certainly uh you know you can definitely give that with that firsthand experience yeah and I, I haven't told my team that there's an active three out yet because you know they have the active two from three years ago um this one has a higher resolution display so you'll be able to to see the drawings a bit better for example um, it has better cameras. There's actually a 13 megapixel camera on the back and five on the front. So the camera sees a significant bump. We have more RAM inside. There's more internal storage. Um, this also does have a micro SD card slot, so you can expand the storage as, as much as you want. Um, and it has a larger battery than the, the previous version. So it's a, it's a nice upgrade. And, you know, a two, three year cycle on an upgrade of a tablet like this for the enterprises is, is a great time frame for, for getting this out there. And it's really nice that it comes with this rugged case. And I kind of just briefed over, but the S Pen is an unusual S Pen, right? It does have a button on it. So you can do the screen write off memos and things, but there's no Bluetooth in it, right? Like we see on the Note series right. where we have air actions and, and things like that, where it needs to be charged. This is um, kind of a nail or a spike, I kind of call it the way that it's shaped. Um, there's no charging capability on it or anything, but it does all of the other S Pen functions that people have come to know and love, right? Writing on it, um, capturing different things, marking up annotations, signing documents, all of that kind of thing is supported um, with that S Pen. Excellent, and, and uh, again, Matt, you mentioned it, but the price point on it? 
for 490 for the Wi-Fi version. And then I think it's, um, I believe it's another 50 or 100 more for the LTE version of it. And there is no 5G version. This is, okay. you know, it's not the, as I said, it's not the latest and greatest technology, but it's, right. it, it gets the job done. <laughs> job done. Absolutely. And, and, and very affordable for that. Well, you're, you're, you're probably going to have to ante up here sooner than later <laughs> and get them for your guys, <laughs> especially if they see this. So, um, all right, Matt, well, we appreciate it. Of course, much more on the Galaxy Tab Active 3, which you need to know, uh, can be found in all of Matt's articles there on ZDNet. Thanks for watching.